Hello everyone and uh, welcome back to another another episode of Grunts <laughs> and Grumbles. I'm Tom. I'm Vince. Yeah, another yeah, one. Another just one. keep coming. Yeah, just keep coming. Might as well. Why not? What else we got going yeah. on? <laughs> What else? What are we, we trying to be professionals? In the world, let's just uh, you know, uh, have some fun with it. <laughs> I uh, couldn't agree more or less, really. Right. I, couldn't, I, have, I have zero opinion on the matter. Then. <laughs> Wait and see what happens, right? I say so. Yeah, uh, in I the meantime, so. let's just have a few laughs and uh, get together and enjoy our company as friends. And yes, and let's talk something very exciting Yes, for the city of Toronto. We made it again. Look, you see, notice I said the T, the second T. The Toronto. I never <laughs> did. Shit. The Toronto we Blue made, Jays. We clinched the playoff spot. They weren't. They didn't make it last year, right? No. <laughs> when was the last? Was the last year they were in? Was the flip? 2016. Or the year was that the year after no, the flip? No, flip was 2015. Okay, and they made 2016. In 2016, they made it, and then it, 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 yeah. that was it. You know that game they won to clinch it. with? they almost didn't win that game? I was there. No, no, the one they the one that just happened. The oh yeah, yeah, no, no, the, yeah, the, this one, yeah. Because I know, I like know. it was like the ninth, the bases were loaded, I know. and you know you could have fucking blew it. How crazy. Again, I wish I was there. Of course. Sucks that we're not. But how crazy is that energy when you see it and you're going, oh, my God. I man. know. And I was there for the clinch. I, I, feel, I feel like the energy is so much different, though, when you're at home watching it on TV. Oh, uh, of course. As opposed to there. Of but, course. I mean, I watched the bat flip on TV, and I was still yeah. going nuts. Yeah. Nuts. The bat flip was that. insane. That whole yeah. game was just nuts. I know. I uh, watch all these... Uh, Recently too, I just watched these like, YouTube videos of right. of uh, like bat flip scenarios. Yeah, of, I would course, say. of course. So like Bryce Harper, yeah, uh, he is constantly in trouble with pitchers and umpires and shit like that. So right. I watch a lot of videos of him just getting thrown out. Right. And then you're watching those videos and you're like, God, this guy's n- such a dickhead. Yeah. And he's not that great of a player anymore. He really, after no. he got that, you know, mega mega contract. Yeah, I know. Like he really like went. Everyone. Pew. Yeah. Imploded. Once it, I think once it becomes like money. The, Aston Martin shot him down. <laughs> it's uh it's well that's one thing I figure with sports. Anytime the contract is worth more than the trophy you're going after, it's, it's crazy. Po- it's pointless. It's crazy amount of money these baseball players. And it's make. pointless then. So what are you athletes. fighting for, right? Like there's no you're, the, so you win a cup so you get to hold it for a week. Big deal. Like you can never the amount of money they make they don't they don't even care if they win man. I know and that's what I mean me. you know what though there's parts I would you know we say that thinking that right but they still want to win over and over again I, I feel like that that's I the mean, competitive Derek edge Jeter. yeah Derek Jeter of course the Yankees remember they won like I don't know a gajillion World yeah. Series back to back yeah and they were still as happy every year it's not I know. it's not like when they won it back to back that one year they weren't like eh. I know. Let's get the champagne. So, are you a Yankees fan too? I'm not a Yankees fan. Okay. I'm a okay. I'm a Derek Jeter fan. Okay. I thought he was an amazing. Yeah, he was player. a great player. Uh, very, very no, well I'm through and through. Fan. I'm 100 percent a Jays fan. I was, okay. I'm there at the worst. Yeah. Uh, I haven't been there for the best yet, but oh, I'm still I there. there. <laughs> well, I, I, in 92, 93, when they won, yeah. I was six years old. Yeah. So for me. I, I didn't really experience it as much as I want right. to now. Right, of course. Oh, yeah, but, you uh, understand the game, yeah. If they won now, oh, man, I, I don't care. I'd risk Corona. I'd go out there. Uh, that's I'd party what, downtown. I know, I'd risk it. I know, but that's the heartbreak, I'm too. I'm going to risk it's it that, all, baby. There's almost a hypocrisy right now. I feel like we are the cut, cutouts in the big stage of things right, right now. We're the cardboard cutouts observing something that doesn't exist. I'm 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 well, going big. I'm going very philosoph- philosophical on this. Yeah, but I feel like when the fan or when the players go, we couldn't do this without the fans. Like without the support of the fans. Yeah. Well, clearly you can't, and clearly what? it's not our money then that's bringing you to do this. So yeah. there's a bit of heartbreak this year. I feel mm-hmm. I'm still happy and love the oh, Jays. I'm super stoked. And, like, I, can't well, how do you wait feel? To watch how do you feel about those cardboard cutouts in the stands? Do you like them? No. Why? <sighs> Because I feel like it, it's uh, like rubbing it in our face. Well, you no, can't be just, here. Yeah, but the, it's not. I don't think that's a rubbing in the face. I mean, what mm. I don't like is, I mean, they're charging money for it, but it, too. it's per game. It's not one time fee. Also, yeah. number one, but it's going to charity. I think I like the way the Raptors set it up with the screens, the video screens. Yeah, but they didn't set that up. That was done in because they're only playing in that one in that stadium. bubble. Yeah. So I don't know. It's, it, it still feels like a slap in the face. I think it MLS like, is doing that too. They have like these screens. Well, they were with the tournament. Right. It was just what, when it was stuff was happening in Disney. 
that was it. Yeah. Because now I think now that they're back at uh, their fields and playing wherever, right? I don't think those screens are anymore. So is TFC playing at BMO Field or no? Uh, they were playing there for the Canadian uh, okay. sort of a leg there. Right. I, I don't even know. I yeah, can't what explain happened it. now? Like, so what are they doing now? Now they're playing everybody. Now okay, they've opened okay. it up. Okay. But I don't think I don't know if they're going to play in Toronto. I don't think they There's are. There's no schedule, when, right? Well, they're playing games again. I, I'm, I'm not, I don't know all of it, and fucking Jesse's going to be so fucking mad. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so they they started doing this weird little Canadian sort of a leg, considering, but still calling right. it the regular season. So right. they were playing Montreal and Vancouver. So they did three games against two or three games against Montreal, two or three games against Vancouver, right. and Vancouver played Montreal and vice versa, and mm-hmm. they had home games. Uh, and it was all within Canada. Right. So Toronto went to Montreal, Montreal came to Toronto, Vancouver, et cetera. Right. So that way they kept it in there while they were still trying to figure this out. But of now, course. now they're playing other oh, teams. Yeah. And I just don't know if they're playing in the States, but I bet we're going to find out when Jesse calls you after he listens to this episode. And <laughs> 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 I don't know. I, I Again, I think there's a bit of confusion there all around. Mm-hmm. What can you do? What can't you do? Like, yeah. I mean... I mean, I love what the Jays have done with the Buffalo organization and how they spruced up the stadium for yep. them. I think it looks good down there. But I mean, I mean, it's a lot better than what they were thinking of, like, you know, sharing the stadium with Baltimore. Like, Baltimore's are like our rival. Well, yeah, and right? I, I don't think that would have been. And good. I think that's horrible. And like, it's like, honestly, you just need the field to look good. The if the stadium doesn't hold fifty thousand people, it doesn't matter. I know you're nobody's playing, there. You're playing is on it, the field that's is it regulated. Just, I know. Right? <laughs> is it just Regulation. because you can't put that many cardboard cutouts in the uh, I don't know. audience? I still feel like it, it's a bit of a slap in the face, and I know we're doing it for the right reasons, but it's like it's it's like when you watch the Leaf game and you know when you're up at the five hundreds because you spent still three hundred bucks for the for standing yeah, seats. Yeah. And you see the assholes in the suits behind the leaf bench, yes. not cheering the team on, Doing not, business not yeah, meetings and all that, on their phones, their phones. Not, couldn't even give a fuck that they were there. Yeah. And I'm going, if I could only be in that seat. And another reason why I can't really fully hate Drake, because I feel Drake is that fan that was in standing rooms yeah. way back in the day. Yeah. Now he's courtside. Everyone who, had, who has Drake's seat now at yeah. the Raptors games would be exactly the same level of energy. They better be. Well, I mean, look at yeah. Nav Batia, the, the super fan. Yeah, yeah. He's always doing that, too. I know, but you know, what? you know what? I, I mean? like the idea of the super fan. I like and him. I like that he goes, because he goes to every game, but he's, he's also charitable he's too. also rich. Well, that's so he can, he can be at every single game. Of course. He can pay for those tickets to go to that game. Yeah. Like, I would be a super fan at a Leafs game, should that exist. Should I? Could I afford a, a ticket to every right. single game? Right. Or if I could take time off work. And go to every game too. I so I think the whole idea of him is good, but it's also like he could do it because he was rich. That's right. Well, but I course. bet you there's that little twelve year old boy who goes to a game once every three years, yeah. but he watches every single one at home, notes all the stats of everybody who is the true super fan. Yeah. That can never be labeled it because that guy who has money has been able to go. I know that's kind of shitty. No, don't get me wrong though. Like Everyone he gets is a good. Place. He is a good dude. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, you see him on the commercial. Here is commercials for Hyundai all the time, yeah, or whatever yeah, it's got. Yeah. But <laughs> <laughs> come buy a car from the super fan. Yeah. It's like, well, are you really? So, I don't know. He does like basketball, so right. it is like he's a good dude. Yeah. So I'll definitely, you know, admit to that fact. And, and I feel like still like with the, everything that's happening, I know everything's precautionary, and we're still getting entertainment at least. Um, again, I can't knock what they're doing to make it accessible. Yeah, but. How bad would that be if you're 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 playing that team and, and you were the underdog last year? Your your whole team is based on the offspring of someone who was an all star. What Guerrero? You mean? All of them. All the players were were sons of yeah of all stars, which true. is great. And now now all the benefit of the doubt of what we had even three years ago, and you, like you gave away the whole team. Like we have no one yeah. from three years ago. Like all my ju- jerseys are obsolete. Yeah, yeah. This jersey, jersey is absolute. obsolete. It's absolute. Yeah, uh, but. You have now this this team that's done it, and even though it's short season, and I know you're gonna get all the doubters going. Listen, oh, no matter you what, know what short season, and it wasn't really a real season. I don't Fuck care. that bullshit. They still have to win games. That's right. They're proving themselves, but the fact that now they could potentially win the championship, they've now gone to that level of the playoffs, mm-hmm. and no one could be there to go. I'm proud of you, boys. Like, yeah, yeah. Ah, but you it know falls what? On they're. Deaf ears. 
I, no, I mean, yes, yes and no, because they are, you are getting still support on your like the social medias and stuff like that. Like people are still doing that. Kind of not, thing. It's never, it's not going to be the same for a energy. while. I know it's not going to be, but no one has it. 110 decibels. I know, but it's not room. like they're 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 the only people going through it. The no, entire league. I, I know. The, I know. The that's what I'm saying. No, I'm so okay no one has an advantage in anything right. or whatever. But um, yeah. I'm 100 percent cheering on for those Blue Jays to do something. I want them to do well, and I mean, I want every uh, Toronto team to do well. And I know I, I rib you with the uh, with hockey and stuff, but there's that level of when you get to a certain point in yes. your career as an athlete mm-hmm. and you're playing on a team and whether the organization be- makes you believe it or not and they still put in that doubt that, oh, we're going to rebuild for next year. We're going to do better next year. You can't do that. Like, say, say it's our... Not, I, hate the re- I hate that word, rebuilding. I know. Like, say, say Matthews, our star player for the Leafs, yeah. gets severely injured. Yeah. In a warm up stage of camp. Sure. Can't play. ACL, I, you know, MCL, something, something, something. something catastrophic. Adrian yeah. size catastrophic, right? Yeah. You're going to write off the whole team going, well, it's because we didn't uh, have it. We have to rebuild next year or it's another year. You have Listen, to build when on Lupo, excellence. When Lupo stopped playing, remember yeah. Joffrey there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Was, uh, what a waste. Um, <laughs> he When he got hurt, they're, they're like, oh, he was our star player. You know, he was like the guy. They were playing fine without him. I know. I know. One person does not define a team. It shouldn't, right? And it should not. And I find the heart of most teams are the ones that don't have the all-stars. Yep. Are the ones that are building the points every day. The the underdogs for the fact that you're going, wait a minute, where did these guys come from? The Raptors were like that last year. Because I remember when... Well, I mean, they always had those guys. But when DeRozan left, everyone was kind of heartbroken in the city. Going, oh my God. They were heartbroken not because we lost like the star player. I mean, because we did. We lost one of our star players. Right. But he was just like, for me, DeRozan was the Raptors. Right. He was like the guy. Right. And now, I mean, Lowry is the guy. He's the guy. He is 100% the guy. Um, He's hard and soul. He yeah. flops around a little bit. I think he, he embellishes some, some plays. He, he showed there, some but, heart this playoff, yeah, though. He, he was, did. like, tackling. He was, I like, know. he was on the court all the time. Yeah, he played um, a lot. I feel like when, when they announced Kawhi coming in last year, and he didn't want to do any press. He didn't want to like acknowledge anything. And I'm going, what the hell? Like, do you not want to be here? Is this clearly no, a contract that's just thing? Who he is, man. Yeah, but not knowing yeah. that, right? Not of knowing course. that, and you see, like, how's this guy going to fit in Toronto organization? They're really going to have to work hard because they're, you're, you're going to have an anchor now that doesn't really want to toe the line. Yeah, and obviously it went the other way. Well, he can, he comes right. in and he puts in the work. He 100%. does, uh, and I, it's very hard to be an athlete in the city of Toronto. I feel yeah. like because yeah. the media and the fan base is very hard on our athletes. And like even Why LeBerto, I don't, we just expect a lot. We've been a losing city for a long time, you know? Yeah. And we're like the top team in the majority of the leagues. Right. You know, like one Canadian team in all of NBA, one yeah. Canadian team in all of uh, the MLB. Yeah. You know, like we are the small fish. Yeah. You know, and so we just we want more. We want to show to the world, right, that Toronto has a winning atmosphere, and we have the people who go to these games. Yeah. These games are all sold out. I know, Always. Toronto, every money game. making, every Toronto game. money making city for uh, the Leafs, the Raptors. Yeah. Uh, you know, the TFC is making lots of money too. Mm-hmm. Not, I mean, they're not in the audience as far as, uh, uh, you know, the the Raptors and the Leafs, but the Jays when they're on a yeah. win streak, that place was sold out. And the broadcast like levels of like just the numbers of like mm-hmm. all the whole country. It's not. Our city, it's the whole country. The whole country is watching the Leafs. The whole country is watching the Raptors, the Jays, the, you know, it's a whole like. And of course, in the numbers and the money numbers is that, well, it's 30 million versus 300 million. Of course, we're a 10th of what the Americas are. Of course. But we're one team, 1% of all the league to be that. So like count that in and that's, that's where it's all heart. And I love how, how the athletes are kind of more appreciative of that. They're seeing that now. They're not just going, oh, shit, I guess I'm going to Canada. No, they're more like, yeah, oh, okay, now, let's do it. Let's bring it. But now it's ago, become it more, rough. yeah, everyone's like, I'm not going to Toronto. I'm from the States. Yeah. I'm from yeah. the United States. I'll play anywhere in the United States. I don't want to go to Toronto. Yeah. It's cold there. That yeah. was the thing. Yeah, I know. I know. If you're a hockey player, it's not a big deal. No. If you're an NBA star it's or a, a soccer player or a baseball player, you're like, I don't want to go up there. It's cold yeah. in the wintertime. Now, do you feel like if Vince Carter had a chance to come back? I wish he came back to retire in Toronto. Yeah, me too. I, I wish it. 
to for him to retire in Atlanta, in Atlanta right? I think. Yeah, it was. Yeah, it's terrible. It's just an abomination. Like, like just resign him real quick for a day. You know, even sign him even here. the fact that like they could have like squeezed him in last year. Listen, we're doing good. We might yeah. Be. I don't think he. I don't know if he was available to. You'd, you'd have to yeah, trade someone for him. Like he yeah. was under contract, yeah, so we're not going to trade for him to just no, to no. retire. Here. Now that he's up, we should just sign him for one game, yeah. and he ref- retires after that. Yeah, I think. But has yeah. he now played somewhere else more than he's played here? Mm, uh, yeah, maybe. Well, yeah. I mean, he's I played know. forty years. Like it's so crazy. Is it forty four, years? Well, four decades. So he's played four decades. Has he really? Yeah. How old yeah. is he? He's he's not sixty years old. No, but he started in ninety seven. Yeah, so that's the nineties, two thousands, two tens, two twenties. Yeah, still okay. You made it seem like forty well, years. Okay, no, sorry, I four decades. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Well, that's that's the way they always. So he's push played. That, he's but. played to ninety three. So he's played uh, to twenty three years. No, nope. professional math. Professionally twenty three years. That's okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, I guess since he was eighteen. Yeah. Crazy. Wow. Yeah. So he's like, he's 41 now. Yeah. Did you ever see the dunk? Were you, did you watch? I watched it. I watched it. Yeah, yeah, of course I did. I just love how it was like, oh, this is so-and-so from the Raptors. Like, they never, again. Yeah, Vince Carter from the Toronto Raptors. Yeah. Like, he's like, there I for f- a reason. I feel like <laughs> Toronto media does enough bullying yep. for sports. And then we get it from the States, too. Like, they never wanted to acknowledge. Remember, they didn't even acknowledge the Raptors in the playoffs last year. Or the first time we were kind of in a couple years ago. But we made they it to, like, Eastern Finals. Yeah, but they weren't even calling us, to like, Toronto. They were calling, like, the team from the North. They were, like, trying not to, like, acknowledge Toronto at all. The American broadcasters. Okay. I'm going, are you kidding me? And then we won. Yeah. Yeah, in your yeah. fucking faces. Yeah, I know. It bothers me. Like, no. everything's kind of like that. So, like, and then we have our media yeah. that just is even worse. And you're going, wait a minute. We, as a unit, as our city, like we said, it's not just Toronto. It's Canada. It's Canada. Why don't we have more of the press and the media? I don't know. Like, I'm not saying kiss their ass. Of mm-hmm. course not. But at the same time, it's like, oh, so what makes you think, Vince, that now that you signed in for, like, the Maple Leafs, that we're going to win this year? Like, fuck off. Let them try. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. They, they need to sell news because news yeah, is like, everything's true. dying. The whole internet <laughs> is taking over. Uh, we so, believe in you guys. We believe in you. So <laughs> Toronto has iconic sports moments. Yes. Correct? Yes. So Vince Carter's dunk yes. when he won that would have been one of the first ones. When for, you see Shaq, his jaw dropped. Yeah. And, and like, do you see when he was recorded on that, like, yeah. old school of the camera? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so funny. Yeah. Those guys, millions and millions of dollars recording with a $20 camera. <laughs> yeah. um, <laughs> he probably just stole the broadcast camera, but he's so big. It's looking it's like in his hand. Camera. It's an actual broadcast <laughs> in his hand. Uh, Kawhi's buzzer beater. Yeah. yeah. Iconic. No one will ever forget that. So Batista's crazy. Batista's bat flip. The bat flip, yep. Yeah. Uh, we have... Uh, Doug Gilmore's uh, the bloody around, lip. The bloody lip. We have uh, the whole Wayne Gretzky. That's what I mean. Thing, the bloody yeah. lip. Yeah. We also have um, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. We never, we never plan ahead. We're Doug, just going. Doug Gilmore, like when he came back to Toronto, I was at the game. I was watching the game. He just played for like a second, got a penalty, smashed the glass, got kicked out of the game. Remember? <laughs> yeah. And like, it's just we have iconic moments here. I know. I know. That happened. And it's like all of sports knows it. All of sports will remember the Kawhi buzzer. Yeah. Nobody will forget. OG Ananobi yeah. got that three-pointer in the playoffs with like five seconds left yeah. on the clock. Yeah. They put on, the Celtics put on, oh, the tallest dude I've ever seen. He's taller than you, believe it yeah. or not. Yeah. He was like seven foot seven. This guy's never played one game. They put him in front yeah, of Kyle. Saw, yeah, remember yeah. that? Yep. Yeah. Kyle lobs it way over to him to an open OG, drains that three. Another fucking beautiful moment in Raptor yeah. history. Like it's just we have all these amazing moments, I know. but we get zero respect. And I feel like those moments kind of like oh my god, Joe Carter hitting the home run. Why didn't you even it. think yeah, of yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. We're in fucking Blue Jay. We talked started the show with Blue Jay. I couldn't think. Yeah, of Yeah, the Carter. home run. Well, yeah. yeah, it's amazing. You know, and that's what I mean. It's like we have all these moments, but I feel like when they get to the point like the buzzer beater, it feels like that is all they've got left. And after the like the next game. They're gassed. It's some like it's always seems that way. Well, I mean, you play your heart out. I know. 100% of the time. Know, you still want to do it. Gassed. You know, I just I like yeah, it, it's remarkable and like watching like the documentaries like the Michael Jordan one. I right? haven't seen it yet. And you're going, this guy never got drafted. Or he got drafted, but he never got traded. He didn't want to go anywhere else. He yep. realized that this was his home team 
and played his heart out, didn't give a shit, and that was the way it was back then. Wasn't that Kobe too? Same thing. Uh, Kobe, didn't Kobe moved, always play for no, the no, Lakers. No, no. Where did he come from? Kobe moved. He was in Miami. I, no, well, I, never mind. I, 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 yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I thought he was no. in the Lakers the whole time. Yeah, maybe he was. Shaq moved around. Shaq moved around. Yeah. Because Kobe said, yeah. me or him. Chris Bosh moved around. Oh, fuck that guy. You know, but that's what I mean. Everyone's like, oh, where are you going to Miami? Okay, we're going to go to Miami. We're going to create when a super team. When they made that super team, LeBron yeah. and uh, Dwayne Wade and, yeah. and Chris Bosh. I, I don't know why Chris Bosh was involved in that. He is not the caliber of LeBron James <laughs> and Dwayne Wade. I'm sorry. Well, I know. I'm well, sorry all those fans now. out there, Chris Bosh. Look where he, he is, is now. now. Nothing. What is he doing now? He's, right. not, he's retired. So, Look where all of them are now. They're all retired. Dwayne Wade finally retired. Not finally, but he just retired. Right. LeBron's going to play forever. Right. He wants to beat the numbers. Right. He's going. He's in the numbers game now. But can you imagine if Jordan had the the free wheeling of like LeBron? What do you mean? Like I I well, I'm not going to play for Chicago this year. I'm going to go. He could have. I'm going to go. Just had yeah. loyalty, I guess. Uh, Michael Jordan, Cup, yeah, had the refs when he didn't like a call he'd be like no this is this he's like no i didn't i saw a clip one time he's like no michael i didn't see that and then he kept arguing about it he's like all right fine and gave the foul wow who's michael jordan no, no, do whatever no, you no. want <laughs> he's like the so wayne gretzky you know like so wayne gretzky amazing. never got body checked wow there was mm. protection back then too yeah but it's also although, like although because wayne gretzky sold tickets so if yeah. wayne gretzky got hurt and when you yeah. and he was coming to toronto yeah. and they were going to make another you know ten thousand dollars or whatever yeah just for his name, yep. the league protected him. Although I did see Gilmore take out Gretzky in the return game. Oh yeah! After the '93 playoffs, nice. Uh, Gretzky was uh, where was it in St. Louis at the time? St. Louis Blues. Yeah. And uh, I was at that game, and Gilmore leveled him. Nice. And everyone stood up, standing ovation. Amazing. Isn't like, that yeah. amazing that you, you, there's a fight, there's a big hit, the entire hockey community goes nuts. Yeah, again. If there's a hit, in the if there's a hit in uh, in the NBA or anything like that, everybody's like, "Oh, this is what the hell's going on?" Yeah, like, hockey, oh, how we, you we need it. <laughs> no, we need, you need a good hit. They always say, "Like, you know what? We need something to change the tides." Yeah, you get a good hit in there, a good fight changes momentum. I know. No, I know. it's different, and that's changed. All of it's yeah, changed. And no one's really fighting anymore. And again, because the money is worth more than the trophy, right? Well, I mean, no one really wants to get hurt. <laughs> I thought too. I don't know. Yeah, um, no, yeah. <laughs> it just it's just crazy when you see that. You know, you see the boys like the Toronto Blue Jays, and uh, like I said, they're kids. Yep, they're kids of somebody who was important. I feel like that's going to be the the change. Well, we'll see. Hopefully, who knows? hopefully it depends who they play. Look, you know what? The the most like there's famous father sons uh, in baseball mm-hmm. that played together. Yeah. Ken Griffey and, and, yeah. and Junior. Yeah. They played on the same team. They were the first ever and the only, I think, to this day that I know of. Mm-hmm. Hit uh, back-to-back home runs. So crazy. So Senior went up. Yeah. Hit a dinger. <laughs> the sun goes up. Hits a dinger right behind Amazing. him. Amazing. It's unheard of. Yeah. And it's like, it's like that's a, another beautiful moment it's, in baseball. You know, yeah, again, like, you can't take that away. I love sports for that, but I also hate sports for that, too. Why do you hate it? Yeah, I, like what we talked about uh, previous episodes, it's just it feels like the ego there becomes, like, I'm here because of that. Like, the hockey. Like, hockey should be a bigger national sport if the cost wasn't involved. Mm-hmm. And the only reason why certain people are in the major leagues is because of the nepotism of it. Well, in, right? in baseball? Well, in any sport. Well, I don't think so. Right? You still have to be good. Oh, yeah. It's only nepotism in sport is if you're father or whoever played the sport, father or mother, right, let's right. say, if it's a women's team, yeah. it, if they have anything to do with the management. Management hires. Yeah, I don't They're know. not going to sell a name with a... If, if Ken yeah. Griffey Jr. was a terrible baseball player, they're not going to be like, oh, let's get him in the... Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, I guess. MLB just because But there's more opportunities because the kid has money to go to, to, to okay, be but, scouted by certain okay, people. Okay, but right? that is just based on... But they still have to be good. Oh, for sure. I don't think nepotism it, it happens like that in sports. No. You have the opportunities to get your, you know, your dad has money, can pay for the hockey equipment, right. can pay for whatever, yeah, of course. Stores, of course. can get you the trainers, can get yeah. you all that. Sure. But that a rich person could do that too. Like I said, I would love them open the books to see how much it costs to put your kid into a sports league. It's a million for, dollars. I guarantee it's it's crazy, a million dollars. Right? And from start to finish. That? Yeah. Well, you just do it over time and you <laughs> sack it. It's not so much even the money, it's the time these days. Yeah. Yeah. That's the, the real thing. How we talked about in earlier episodes. Yeah. When you when I said from the age of birth to eighteen years old, 
you're spending over a million dollars. There's another example. I don't think that's a legit number. <laughs> you just said it was. No, I th- are you talking? Are you talking sports? Or are you talking just a child throughout in general? their life? Right. Okay, I thought you meant like from, for a child from birth to eighteen, like toys. Think okay, about toys. Yeah, but okay, treats. I'm saying food, sports shelter. I'm saying just the sports is a million dollars. Yeah, Sidney Crosby from four years old to NHL. Right. His parents probably ditched out close to a million dollars so of, of sports equipment, yeah. of team monies and things. And then eventually when he starts playing higher up, they pay him. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know. Maybe the million dollars is extreme. But I uh, like it I could, said, be, they could be like 500000 yeah. Maybe a million is too much. Yeah. I don't but, know. Uh, maybe four houses worth. Right? Maybe we don't yeah. know what we're talking about. Maybe we do. <laughs> <laughs> like ever. Like ever. Okay. So uh, <laughs> next. We don't know next. next. Okay. So. Uh, I wanted to tell you a funny story that happened to me weeks ago. Okay. And I keep writing it down in my old little notepad. you keep forgetting No, no, we just, page. we go on a different topic and okay. it doesn't come up. It happens. Um, so, you know, I did that photo shoot. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I did a, I did a fun little model photo shoot because I, I wanted to see how pretty I actually am. Okay. And, uh, so far I'm, I'm getting good responses. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, so <laughs> Anthony, who works in the film industry, right? he is, a uh, Amazing photographer, right? So I'll I'm gonna tag him when this episode comes out, okay. and we'll do some things and make sure he gets his thing because right. he, uh, he's amazing. Yeah. And so I posted a photo he took of me, and it uh, part of my underwear was showing my Joe Boxer. Okay. Okay. Not the naked one. No, no, the one I had clothes on. Okay, okay. And I I wrote a little caption. <laughs> yes, there's the naked one. <laughs> yeah, but it's tastefully. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so I posted a little caption on it, and I was like. Just trying to be a Joe Boxer model at Joe Boxer Canada, like I okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, kind of okay, and just jokingly, this yeah, is a yeah, joke. Of you know, just you, sometimes you just try to, f- to write funny things. Yeah. Don't I get a message from Joe Boxer Canada? Okay. Saying, "Hey, we love the photo. Can we post it on our page? Wow, on their stories. They didn't post oh, yeah, it on the okay, page. Yeah. Post the story. I'm like, oh yeah, big fan, of course. Yeah, like yeah. I, I all my underwear I, is Joe Boxer. I right, love it. Right. Okay. Uh, and I've always joked. I've always joked like, before taking these photos. I'm like, I should be a Joe Boxer model. Right. Right. The average Joe. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Wearing the underwear in my scenarios. Right. I want to be on the cover of a Joe Boxer. Nice. <laughs> nice. So they message me and they're like, Hey, we love the photo. Blah blah blah. And I'm they're like, Can we post it? I'm like, 100 percent yes. Right. You know, I'm like 100 percent. I'd love it. Blah blah blah. They post it. It's awesome. Like I'm super, super, super happy about it. <laughs> Here you know, you're now a billboard on. Uh... I know. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> I wish. So I sent them a message right after. I'm like, hey, just so you know, I'm a size large, and I'm going to tell you again on this yeah. podcast, right. Joe Boxer. You haven't sent me anything yet. They just they just looked at it. They liked it, and they That's never it. responded. So Joe Boxer, huh. send me something. Buddy. They, they took they took your picture. I mean, I guess. But they didn't take the picture. Though. Should, I know you should ask for him. I don't know. Maybe uh, you did it wrong. Anyway, this I is thought why it was people need funny. agents. <laughs> we need agents. I thought it was pretty funny. Anyway, so I'm That's basically, funny. basically here, Tom. What I want to do mm. is I want to start a campaign. Okay. I want to start a get the Vince on so Joe Boxer. Free underwear. No, no. I just want to. I want to be. I want to be a Joe Boxer model. Okay. okay. So I think us, okay, our social media presence, right, our listeners, okay, all all two of them, we could. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, we, moms. Thanks, moms. <laughs> uh, we could. I think we could convince Joe Boxer to put me in there. Here's what you have to do. All right, tell you me. You have to do something that they've never done in a campaign before. No, no, no. So just having your logo or their logo on your body is great. Mm-hmm. But you have to go for, I think, a Wilder video photo shoot on more a creative tone. On but I have to wear else, their products. But where else would you wear I their want underwear? Them, I also want them to make for us Grunts and Grumbles podcast underwear. So I'm going to get this campaign <laughs> okay, going. You try to do it. I'm going to try this campaign. Phil, Scott. Anyway, yeah, jump in. We're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm gonna po- I'm gonna post some things when this episode comes out. All right. I'm gonna post some things. I'm okay. gonna write some things. I want to start. I okay. want to start a campaign. Okay. Okay. It's been done. It's, it's been done before. This it's won't be the done. first. I will be a Joe Box. I model. think that you, like I said, you have to be different than the average of what they do. I think this is where I want it to be word of mouth. You know, but wear wear it all over the place. Like where where? What am I just gonna walk around with my pants off? Where does a hat? I'm not doing that. Where does a hat? I just, what you gotta I do be is creative. I, take, I just gotta do more sit-ups. <laughs> That's what I gotta do. Just tell you how, Jimmy, 
Just let me give you wedgies. <laughs> Jimmy, we're doing great. Jimmy, we're doing more sit-ups. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That's what I, uh, that's the thing. I'm starting it. Okay. It's going to happen. Let's do it. You know what they say? What? You got to visualize your goals. Not only am so I visualizing far, I mean, it. I did it, right? Look, look at us. It. Yeah. We yeah, did it. We did it. We, uh, we visualize our goals. And this is my new one. How about that? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's let's see what they're uh, how how they're trading numbers <laughs> are. Maybe, maybe we're not going Joe Burrow. Listen, maybe it's Tom Ford. No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not Tom Ford. I'm not Tom Ford quality. I know. Uh, <laughs> fuck you. Um. <laughs> anyway, we'll see how it goes. Okay, let's see. Hey, hey, listen. What's the worst case scenario? We challenge each other. I would do it for free underwear. I know. We challenge each other all the time. Why? Well, like, how else remember. does anyone do it? Right. I don't know. So. Listen, I, there's some things that are controversial maybe, that I'm not going to talk about, maybe, but if maybe, someone else can do it. Maybe from now on, you have to wear nothing but your boxers on our shows. No, I'm not doing that. Uh, please don't. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> you please don't. I haven't. I know. I remember you saying, oh, there's a reason we don't do these things naked. And I'm like, yeah, because I don't want to fucking see it. <laughs> yeah, but we might have to. If yeah. you, you want to be that guy... <laughs> Uh, I guess if I have to, I have to. <laughs> One other thing I wanted to talk to you about, too, is I like to call it uh, bathroom etiquette. Okay? Okay. Now, it's not what you think it's going to be. Okay, go for it. I just, like, you know when you go into bathrooms, like friends or strangers or yes. house parties? Yeah, okay. And you go to the bathroom, and you, you finish, and you wash your hands, mm-hmm. and you look at the towel rack, and there's like 17 towels there. Okay. There's no way that I can possibly imagine which towel I'm supposed to use. Just use them. All of them, but then they have the decorative ones. Then they have all the those, his and hers. Well, the his and hers. <laughs> I know which one to use. I'm using the his. I'm using the the, the male one, uh, which is apparently his and hers should be now politically incorrect. Yeah, um, not not here. Not here. You're welcome here. Uh, anyway, uh, there's too many towels. <laughs> there should be one towel, man. I think that's that depends on the situation of the house you're in. If Why? there's a relationship. There's seven here. Here's the towel rack. Okay. You got one, know. two, three. Then there's a secondary towel rack with three other towels on it. And then at the at the at the sink, there's a little towel, yeah. another little towel there. Mm-hmm. And the, and then there's all these towels and you're like, you stand there with your wet hands. You're Which looking, one do I use? You're, you're constantly <laughs> staring at seven towels. And your your hands dry before you decide which one you can pick. This is why we need to burn down all the home senses in Canada. No, we don't have to do that. <laughs> Clutter. No, it's. no, no, no. It's because it, they do have awesome things there. What about it's, pillows? Same thing. Uh, I know. I use two pillows to sleep, so my bed has four pillows on it. I use two of them. That's right. So, um, I just need to know what fucking towel to use. Where's Where's the line? <laughs> what would you rather have? No towels or seventeen? One. I want one fucking here, towel. Here's what man. you do. You know how you end that? You know how you Sometimes, end that? But can you go, can you leave the bathroom? You soak every towel except one. And you throw them all on the floor and go, I don't know what happened there. I just had to take care of it and walk <laughs> away and watch everyone in shock going, what, what the, the fuck, fuck happened no. in the Could, bathroom? Do you, think, do you think me coming out of that bathroom and going to the person in the house and be like, excuse me. <laughs> which towel do I use? Which fucking towel do you want me to use, please? Just use any. No, because what if that one is just for their faces? What if this one is for the sh- their showering <laughs> towel? Like I said, it's, I the, don't it's, know. it's the life of not being single and not living as a bastard. There's no function. There's no form or function in, in the decorative towels. I, you know, I get decorative towels. You have the one decorative towel. Yeah. But now if you have three of them <laughs> and they all look pretty good. Yeah. And I'm like, which is the one you use? See. And if the season changes, yeah. it's now the fall <laughs> towels are up. And it's like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah, here. see, I never, I never have that Do discussion. I, I've that's never had never, that discussion that's either. That's never a waste of my because time. I always, like, I always just like, I go to feel it if it's wet from somewhere right, before. Right, right. I'm like, okay, they must have used this one. Okay. But if they're all dry and I'm standing there for like five minutes, I'm like, I don't know what to do. Can I? Should I ask? Just use them all. I know, but should I ask? Oh, fuck it. It's free for all. all right. It's, it's free anarchy. For all. In my bathroom, you can blame have, it on the next guy. In my bathrooms, I have one towel. I, it, same here. Like you see the ones in the. I've got three. Yeah, but that's for depending on the level of how long you're staying. That's all. How long am I staying in the bathroom? Yeah. Or am I staying over? Staying over. <laughs> staying over. But you know, know what I mean. But it's like it goes from the sink 
yeah. to the shower. To the shower. Right? So it's, it's tiered. So you know, and then there's different sizes. Still. That's all. I don't do the decorative. Still, I don't do man. the, I don't know. you know, it's oh, this is the one for when the queen comes. Yeah, the, oh, fuck that. I wish. Uh, <laughs> no, I. But the queen coming? Well, she had to at least a couple times. Um, anyway, so I just I have the whole thing in the bathrooms. And then it's funny. It's like you also go into some bathrooms. Right. And everybody, some people still have magazines in there. Yeah. Isn't that funny? Who reads a magazine in the bathroom? It's only when you forget your phone. Do you remember back in the day when you went into the bathroom and you forgot a magazine? Yeah, you yeah, read the back good. of the shampoo bottles. <laughs> you read that and you went to sit down and you're taking a crap and you were reading the shampoo bottle like you gave a shit what was inside just yeah, to pass the time. I know. Now we go in there for 40 minutes. We've, we're done five minutes after we're in there, but we're on our phones. We're checking our I Instagrams. We're playing our video games. Yeah. We're doing all these things on there, and then it's like, oh, man, I've been in the bathroom for 40 minutes. I should get out of here. But now, <laughs> my legs. But now, yeah, and you got the ring around your butt, you know, the red ring on the seat ring on your ass. And now, where the fuck am I drying my hands? Yeah. <laughs> on which fucking that. towel am I fucking using? Oh, man. I don't know. I, uh, it's funny. I do my best thinking, I think, in the bathroom. I, I call it my office. Yeah. And, so I'm going uh, to the office. In college, I wanted to write a book called My View from Niagara Stalls. Oh, yeah. <laughs> because I went to school in Niagara region. Mm-hmm. So I just figured it would have worked, right? Because some of the best, most genius ideas are coming from the bathroom. And I'd like to my roommates, guys, this is what I just thought of. You just run out of and the bathroom, like, oh, pants around the amazing. ankles. I'm not never that <laughs> drastic. But yeah, <laughs> along the lines of just like brilliant ideas. And then I find out from a friend earlier this week yeah. that Lionel Richie, mm-hmm. a lot of his songs were written in the bathroom. Written in the bathroom. It's all, so, about, it's all about poop. Yeah. Every one of his songs is shit yeah. related. Yeah. yeah. All, I do. I, all night honestly, long. All night long. <laughs> <laughs> he had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> so what you're telling me, Tom, okay. for me to get your creative juices flowing, right? I need to to drug you with X-Lax. No. So that you can go in the bathroom and stay in there and do your creative no, no, Not necessarily. No, <laughs> no. Listen no, here, just... folks. You heard it here. Straight from the horse's mouth. <laughs> That to get Tom to think, to, to get Tom to come up with some creative ideas, all we truly need to do just keep him locked in the basement. Keep him in, uh, the, bathroom, in the bathroom, in the basement. basement. I need a bucket. Uh, I give you a bucket in the basement, <laughs> and every every piece of food I've given you has got some sort of a laxative this, in it. This, this becomes kind of like a a scary, like crazy situation. No, no, I don't. No, no. Um, it just yeah. Tom, you eat the laxative and you write me something creative before you come out of this basement. <laughs> It's like, who called it the Fortress of Solitude? Oh, yeah, The Simpsons. The Fortress, the Fortress of, Solitude. of Solitude. And you know what the, you know what that reference is, right? Superman. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. where he, he goes stays. To the stays. That's yeah. where he's always... So you tell me Superman, shut down. Superman's so shy when he has, he has the shit, he's got to fly out to his <laughs> fortress the, to take the a crap. Arctic, yeah, the, to basically <laughs> Listen, just we all love, shut it down. We all love... There's no good feeling like using your own toilet at home. Right. Right. Like, I, you know, we all go out and we've used restaurants. I know this especially is film sh- sets. especially film sets. I know this is a terrible topic right now to talk about, <laughs> but it, let's be realistic. We can all we can all relate to this. There's nothing like using your bathroom, your own bathroom. or sleeping in your yeah. own bed. Yeah, of course. You know what I mean? And because <laughs> you're comfortable, you you know someone's not going to be right. banging on your door. Yeah. You, you almost done in there, buddy. You oh, know, yeah. and there's nothing like that's that's the worst. When you're working on set. When we're working on sets, sometimes yep. we're in locations in the, the Port of Johns, and then all of a sudden they back up or whatever. Yeah. And you're going, you're like, Ugh, this is terrible. Just get me home. I just want to go home. Right. I know. Or the shared stalls and yeah. stuff like that. Whatever. You know. Um, I'm a shy pooper. Uh, I just like the piece. Like I said, it's solace for me. I, my idea is my best thinking. Yeah. Just. Because it's a wind down. You're not, you're not being distracted by anything else because obviously what else are you All I'm going to see one day on set is you running out of the bathroom. <laughs> just, I got a great idea. Vince, I got the <laughs> best fucking idea. And I'm like, Tom, pull your fucking pants up before you leave the toilet, please. I've never been that uh, obscure of it's gonna ideas. It's going to happen one day. So, no, no. One day it's going to happen. Well, then, you know, yeah, then, yeah, then you might as well laugh. commit me if that's the case. But I'm ready to commit you right now. Why wait? <laughs> I don't have to wait any freaking longer. <laughs> Listen, you've been. What's what's to you? What do you think the worst fear is when you're at someone's house using their toilet? It's clearly clogging the toilet, right? Yeah, would I would that say not that. be the worst fear. I would say that. So, like, remember Dumb and Dumber when? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. He clogs the toilet. The, the first date yeah, thing scenario. Exactly. Yeah. Have you been to someone's house and that's happened and you've had to tell them? Uh, not that I can like think offhand that I did. I'm, I mean, obviously there must have been at some point. Of course, but you know what? So I was at Rainey's 
We're home. Uh, we're, we're we're humans in that way. It like, happens. Like, it happens. Know, again, let's break this down. Depends on who what you eat. Well, right. Who gives a shit? Yeah. You did, and you clogged the toilet. Right. Um. So I was at Rainey's, and I went to use her bathroom. Just to, right. I just took a. I went. I would take a piss, and uh, I went to flush, and it didn't flush. Okay. And I was like, oh fuck. I'm like, do I just take this fucking toilet apart and try to fix it? Yeah. Like, you know, you just take the top yeah, off. Yeah, and the chain and everything. So yeah. I was like, I didn't know what to do for five minutes. I was sitting there because I was also trying to figure out which towel to use. And uh, <laughs> So I, I see <laughs> Rainy, it is your fault. No, no, no. <laughs> I went to her and be like, hey, listen, I just want you to know. I just right. took a piss in here real quick, but I can't, it doesn't flush. I'm like, I just want you to know before I, because she has, you know, people put stuff on top of their things. Right. So I don't I have to take things off. And if it doesn't go back in the right, right. place. And I told her, I told her straight up, I said, listen, we got to fix this. So we took the lid off and then we fixed it. And then I flushed it. I'm like, okay, sweet. Now get out. I have to wash mm-hmm. my hands. Mm-hmm. But uh, <laughs> I feel like people are scared to tell people. So you always walk out. You've always, I've gone to a party. Right. And you go into the bathroom. Right. And it's clogged. Right. And you're like, oh, fuck. Because then if you turn around and leave <laughs> you're the, you, and someone sees you. <laughs> You're the, you're the last it's like party. A, it's like the Curb Your Enthusiasm yes. scenario. Yes. Yeah, well, how did you leave before for dessert? You don't do that. You'd never leave before dessert. <laughs> and then I find out it's because you had to take a shit. You had to go home to take a shit. <laughs> you're like, so oh, good. my God. So, no, I mean, I, it, happens. it it's, happens. Who cares? We're all human. That's the thing. It, it's... I love how like certain topics like that are like, oh, why are you even talking it's about so that? It's so faux pas to talk like, about. Everyone does it. Like, it's... <laughs> it's true I'd be more repulsive If you told me That you like Pick your nose And ate it Yeah Right We had, I had a friend In, in elementary <laughs> school that Not my friend Elementary In elementary yeah, I'm was, not saying I'm saying as adults She you was a booger so eater <laughs> <laughs> you know, The booger the, consumer It's just <laughs> It's just so Bizarre That we Put ourselves In such a Like Sociological Pedestal Yep But everyone does The same routines You get up in the morning Yep you evacuate your bowels. Hey, there's a book. <laughs> Everybody, Everybody poops. poops. Such a book yeah. as this. But I just remember, it's like, you don't want to be the guy that leaves the bathroom and it smells bad, and then you're the guy who took a shit at a party. You know what I mean? <laughs> and worse is you're the guy who clogged the toilet at a party when you didn't. So you're like, no, it wasn't me. Or like, you remember, it's like, who farted? You know, that do the was the Ace Ventura where everybody's like, Woo, do not do go not in Do not go in <laughs> I've been so drinking good. from the toilet. I would have been killed. Oh, my God. That's so good. No, I. Uh, it's just so funny. I don't know. Everybody's a shy pooper. Uh, I, I I don't know. I, I think when you get older, it goes away. The, the less fucks given mm-hmm. on certain <laughs> topics like that, you just go, this is such a waste of my time. I yeah. don't care. Um, I got to do it. And, you know, what do you want me to do? Where do you want me to do? Shit, shit in your front door? Yeah. Shit in the cat box? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I think there's like a funny joke. I, I don't like, I don't think it was like it was one of those things that like, you like Facebook like, read these top weird stories. Right. And uh, there was one where like this guy's like uh he shits in this litter box drunk or something like that. And this woman's like freaking out. She's like, Oh my god, did you shit in the litter box? She's like and he's like, No, no, no. He's like, Your cat probably did it. She's <laughs> like, My cat's been dead for two weeks. Or some <laughs> stupid shit like that, and you're like, oh, fuck. This <laughs> shit in the litter box. <laughs> Not only is it bad you shit in the litter box, but now you've traumatized this lady thing and some cat's shit in her box. It's the ghost cat. It's the ghost cat. Ghostbusters. The Ghostbusters. Hey, there's a new Ghostbusters movie coming out next year. Uh, yeah, I thought it was supposed to come out this year, but they decided to push it up. Year. I think it was 2021. Yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know. Paul yeah, I think Paul Rudd's in it. Uh, I love Paul Rudd. Yeah, I think he's in yeah. it too. Yeah, and I think the kid from Stranger. I think it's more about kids yeah. now. It's about the kids. Well, about maybe, the kids. maybe not. Well, maybe I don't know. I can't remember. Music. I gotta watch the trailer again. Yeah, I don't know. I'm all about it though. Yeah, yeah. I love Ghostbusters. Love what, it. What about Top Gun? That was supposed to come out too. What happened to that one? They were making a new Top, Top Gun? Gun too. Yeah, the trailer looked amazing Is it with uh, Mister. Uh, yeah, with Tom Cruise. Mr. Chris. Yeah. yeah, just not Tony Scott. No, he died. Yeah. <laughs> Spoiler. Uh, Twenty. Was it how long? How long was that movie? Twenty years old. That movie. Twenty plus. Uh, Eighty-eight. I want to okay. say thirty plus. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wow. Eighty-eight. Yeah. Tom Cruise doesn't look. Oh, it doesn't look like he's aged. None of them do. What do they got? Some uh, secret well, serums. We'll, we'll talk after. Yeah. When it all comes <laughs> out. Um, speaking of uh, speaking of like you know on the using your phone on the toilet too. Yeah. It's the one thing I want to talk about is like. Mobile phone games. We all play them. Okay. Everybody does. I don't mm-hmm. know anybody who doesn't have a game on their phone. Right. And it's probably like, I don't know, someone who doesn't know. And even like your, your parents have like Candy Crush. Sure. Everybody's got something. Okay. The mobile phone video game ads kill me, man. 
Yeah. They're the fucking worst. I'm a dairy farmer, and yeah. we have our cows. Like, Yeah. The worst one for Ugh. me is, like, you know those ones where, like, play this game, you can win money. Oh, those ones. Yeah, yeah like yeah, the okay, solitaire yeah, or the okay, roulette, yeah. the blackjack, yeah, the yeah. stuff like that. There's this one where it's this mom and daughter. <laughs> And it's not as good as you want it to be. But uh, <laughs> so sure this is a game. Yeah. Uh, it's like, she's like, oh, look, mom, I just won $40 playing solitaire. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, why? How? In my mind, I'm like, this is so dumb. And her mom's like, oh, I can do that. I can play solitaire. Right. So mom grabs the phone off the daughter. And so she's got it. <laughs> and so she has it in her hand. Like, let's say it's it. And she's doing it. And she's like, and then she's shaking the phone. She shakes it or some shit. And then she's like, that's not how you do it, mom. <laughs> and she's like, oh, it's something's wrong. She's like, you won. I'm like, who the fuck wrote this shit? Who wrote this? Yeah. You can make, you should be like, make money playing solitaire. <laughs> it's the Somali par- pirates trying to get you to get the money. Oh, my God. Right? It's bring, back, bring back the, the uh, what was it, the Nigerian prince that <laughs> had the fortune that wanted to give you money, half of his money. All you need to give him is $5 million and he'd give you his $60 million. Yeah, I know. Well, the fuck's he not have the 60? Why does he need... Anyway, uh, right? bring back those. <laughs> bring back those. Get rid of the bullshit commercials. Um, they drive me fucking nuts. And, uh, it, and it plays over and over again. And I it's feel better like, when there's no restrictions either. Like You yeah. can tell when there's no CRTC or FCC. Because yeah, yeah, yeah. you see that stuff. It's like, wait a minute. What is this controlled? Like, who's commissioning this? Yeah. And how am I making money playing Salter? Is it because I'm watching all these ads? You can try. How? I don't know. You can try to find out. Upload I'm not and doing see. It. Yeah, I mean, I don't no, know. because I'm somehow they're going to steal my credit card information. Uh, exactly. Because I have to open. They either pay you through your credit card or through your PayPal, yeah. and it's the new Nigerian prince. So what, what's your game? What's your go-to game on my mobile? Yeah, uh, I play like those, uh, like uh, the, the build your city tycoon sort okay. of. Uh, yeah, games. the Sim City thing. Yeah, yeah I do oh. like that. There's a the roller coaster one. I started one. I started doing like the police force, the jail. Like there's nice. all these things. Like you build your jail, build your prisons, and you have all these things. Like I get really cool. into those. Awesome. Awesome. Get kind of sucked in. Um, there's a new one mm-hmm. that uh, Danny told me about. Okay. Uh, you know Danny. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He uh, he told me uh, about this one called Among Us. Have you heard it? It's a zombie one? No. Okay. No, so you're like these little character dudes, okay. and you're all like in the spaceship, and you're all walking around, and one of you, or it depends how many people are in the game, is the traitor. Okay. And you have to kill. You kill, you're kill. killing everybody off. Okay. And then once someone discovers the body, they send off an alarm and alert the sort of a thing, and then uh, you have to vote who it is. So you have to be like, oh, I'm pretty sure the blue guy did it. Wow. He came running out of that room, and et cetera. And you as the blue guy... Who did do it? Right, you have That's to be true. like, no, nah, man, I was over here with Green, uh, checking so out the convince. over here. You have wow. to convince the group, and it's a vote. Oh, I've been voted out many times. Yeah. I've been voted out, and I didn't even do it. Wow, I was like, no, nah, man, I was. He's like, oh, uh, uh, the red guy came running around the corner, and I was like, yeah, I did, but I didn't see anybody get killed over. There. I'm like, no, nah, man, it wasn't me. Wow, and, uh, the, and then when you when you lose, they get they they throw you out into space. Right. Oh, wow. And okay. it says, you know, your tag name, whatever your uh, yeah. yeah. For me, it'd be Zom Vinny. Yeah, yeah. And it, and it would be like, Zom Vinny was not the traitor. And oh, they killed you. too late. Yeah. No, but then the game keeps going. Oh, wow. And another person has to die. And another person has to die. Wow. Until they decide, until they figure out who the traitor is. And I've been caught, and it's like, Zom Vinny was the traitor. And it's like, there I go. Into oh, wow. space. Wow. It's kind of fun. Nice. Cool. Yeah. He showed me it because uh, Jason Mewes was playing it on Twitch or something. Okay. And so it's it's for mobile Right. Uh, or PC. Okay. So I obviously can't play it because I don't think it's on, it's not on PlayStation or anything. Right, right. And you got, I think in PC you can, you have microphones and I think you can talk right. in mobile. Oh, okay. Just type, so you can you type okay. Yeah, yeah. Like, No, no, so and so, whatever. It's kind of fun, actually. Nice. You should download it. It's kind of fun. I'll check and do it. And um, when someone kills you, they have this little, like, uh, sort of a stop motion thing of like oh, yeah. this guy cutting your head off oh, yeah. or like stabbing you like six times in the back or some shit like that. <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, uh, I, I've been playing Words with Friends. Just it's, oh. it's kind of to like keep my mom occupied. Nice. And you get her brain going. Well, I mean, it's good for you too. Yeah, of sure. course. And it just, you know, you know, we, we can't, can't be with each other because of lockdowns or whatever. Well, it's also distance. You're not right. going to drive to That's Kitchener it. to right. play Scrabble. That's it. Every night. Right. So then, you know, it's, it's a good like thing to do together. Um, and Are you uh, good at it? I'm, I'm okay. I'm terrible at it. No shit. I can't <laughs> spell it. <laughs> I never, I never would have guessed that. I, <laughs> I was playing with Carolyn, right? And like it would take me days to respond. She's like, "Are you gonna play?" Yeah, I'm like, I can't know. figure out how to spell words. Yeah, I'm like, my tiles mean nothing to me. I cannot visualize what tiles I have 
what yeah. words are on the board and what words I can make. You, I'm not into the words that much. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to like start basic with like a word jumble. So here's your letters. No, I, and then you just know what spell. those? I I have to do it in real life because on the game you just you move your finger just yeah, to yeah, things, yeah. and that's like you because you're trying to be the quickest. So you gotta figure it out. I'll yeah, never figure true. it out. Okay. I mean, if I win those, it's a fluke. Right. And there's words you get there by accident. Right. And you're like, sweet. It, it's funny because like. I'm not trying to knock you on that and, and say no shit. It's just not being, I'm not trying to be that. Oh, guy. no, I'm not. I'm well aware uh, right. but of my spelling. It's so funny, like, because I don't know what changed, but I remember, like, every Friday mm-hmm. from grade one to grade six, every Friday, we did spelling tests. Tests. Yeah. Oh, I did that books. too. Oh, yeah. And then, like, you, every week you would learn another page. It would be a little more. Here's five letter words that you'd have to learn. Of course, yeah, yeah. And then that Friday, we get better and better. That Friday, you'd sure. have to do the dictation. Sure, sure, sure. You know, you're doing spelling bees in front of everyone, and you know, there's oh, so, spelling bee, not spelling test. Well, so you spelling test and spelling bees. So uh, we never do, did spelling right? bees, but so we did spelling test. We would do the test, and then we also like, how how well did you learn it? Yeah, yeah. Not just looking at it, mm-hmm. actually say the words, and uh, I mean, I was always the top. I always, I always and I think I was just. From how I was like doing homework at home, I was like, no, no, do it again, mm-hmm. do it again, do it again. This word will never change, but you got to remember that it'll never change. Yeah, right. And silent uh, letters, man. So that, that or I E I yeah. right? I before E except yeah. after C. Yeah, and some then, shit. And then so you know, so that was the drilled in. So you always have to learn. Always go, go, go. And and but even now, see some adults type, and I'm not knocking anyone. Uh, because me, it I depends. Guess. Maybe you didn't do it. Maybe the teacher shot sucked. I don't know. No, no, it was me. I am a terrible speller. Sometimes you just go, oh, I can't understand. Like why we're in the same country? Why the education standards? Just some people are listen. Some people are good at math. Some well, people are not. That's true. Some people are good at spelling and words. Yeah. Some sometimes the classroom it just isn't depends where you need on to be. your scenario. Right. I what happened with us is uh, we used to get uh, every week we got a, a sheet that was like the calendar what you were learning right and there was a set of ten words on it okay you had to study those ten words and come Friday you had your test right your spelling test mm-hmm. I was so bad it got to the point I cheated on my spelling test wow because I was such a bad speller so wow. you know your desk that you yeah, had yeah. The, you had the little drawer under your desk yeah yeah, yeah. so you used to keep the sheet there and then just like you know they'd say the word and you have to write it. I would just pull it out a little bit just, uh, and list my peripheral vision, just see like bits of it and then write the word down. But I would still get a couple wrong to right. not be suspicious. Wow. Don't be suspicious. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I'll tell you how bad a spelling I am. Okay. And we can, yeah. uh, we can run it down after this. We, yeah. can, we can go to our, and we can end the show. Sure. I'm so bad at spelling in two ways. This is two examples that spell check autocorrect right. can't help me. Sometimes I get that yeah. too. I'm also so bad at spelling, I change sentences when I can't spell a word. Even if that word is right. important to my sentence, right. I'm changing it because I cannot spell it. No, is it easier for you? For me, I find it's harder to spell talking to you than it is to write it down. What do you mean? So spell the word spell. Spell. Yeah, S-P-E-L-L. Okay. I find that's harder to do. Oh, Oh, talking. you're saying, saying it out loud. Okay, you're it. saying it's harder to say it out loud than to write it down. Yeah. I got you, I got you, yeah. I got you. All right, well... Uh, I feel like my brain's doing two different things, like yeah. trying to communicate it and spell, yeah. And that's fair. Yeah. Uh, on that note, <laughs> we will... The re- if anybody sees any spelling errors on any of our pages... It's Vince. 90, 90% it's chance of me. Uh, it's me. <laughs> so let's do a re- recap Okay, here. recap. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> Blue Jays, in the playoffs... Oh, season. Let's We're go. doing it again. We're going to make it. We're going to go far. Let's go, Jays. Wish I was there. Um, there's a campaign to get my Joe Boxer model. Joe Boxer. <laughs> We're going to start it. I'm going to start that motherfucker. Uh, Maybe we got to put them on like Deadpool's head or yeah, something, something like that. Bathroom etiquette. Okay. Too many towels. Fuck the towels. Why? Just bring the towels. Know. And uh, weird mobile phone ads and I can't spell. That's All essentially right. what we talked about, I believe. <laughs> uh, you can check us out on our social media pages. Grunts and Grumbles official is our Instagram and our Facebook. Grunts and Grumbles podcast is our YouTube, YouTube page. Right here. Uh, Gruntsandgrumbles.com is our website. Yes. I'm at Zom Vinny. And I am TG Wheelman. Thanks so much and for tuning we'll in. see you on the next one.